not talking to me now? I don't know what you want me to say. Uh, you, you and Everett make a really cute couple. <laughs> Doug, I was not with Everett. We went to a Bodine's concert, and Leo is totally okay with it. Yeah, right. Did you talk to him about it? Not really, Anne. Well, we're friends. I can't have friends now. You know what the sad thing is? The sad thing is, is I honestly think you believe that crap, don't you? I mean, that you and the old watch's name are, are just friends. We are. With the guy you were about to marry? I mean, come on. I mean, seriously, who are you kidding? I mean, you were with him oh, seven years, right? Seven years you're with this guy. You're going to look me in the eye and you're going to tell me that he's not in love with you. Come on. Huh? Okay, well, let's not I'm panic. I mean, how, 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 how did you end things? I mean, did you argue or what? what? Huh? It was raining last night. Did you hear the rain? I mean, the roads get really, really slippery I when it rains. I mean, what, 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 what am I supposed to do in a situation like this? I mean, do, do I uh, call hospitals? I'm sure or? he's fine. Okay, I'm sure he's fine. Dead in the ditch somewhere, you know? Okay, I'm a comedian. Let me do this. Hi, you've reached Cordosa Design. I'm sorry we're not here to take your call. Please leave a message. Hi, Julia. It's Isabel. Um, I was just wondering if maybe you knew where Leo went uh, after dinner last night because he didn't um, come home and, uh, oh you know, he wasn't with you. I, I was a little oh. concerned. Uh, Doug, there's nobody answering. Isabel. Oh, Leo. Oh, you're there. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I thought you were dead. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, thank God. So you, you spent the night there last night? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I did. Morning, Leo. Cappuccino? Well, I don't want to keep you. No, um, listen. I had a little too much to drink, you know, and, and so I crashed. Uh, we had a lot of work to do. We... Right. I don't believe you don't believe me. This is... No, I believe you. Well, how did things go with you and Everett last night, huh? Fine. Look, I'm going to be home in just a couple of minutes. But... Well, what a relief. He's alive. Coffee? Yeah, please. So, what are your big romantic plans for the evening? Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, stay home. Oh. Yeah, I thought you were seeing some guy. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, sorry. Oh, come in. No, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be alone for Valentine's Day. You know, which, which is fine. I mean, I'm capable of that. 
I'm not so pathetic that I have to go out with some guy just to go out with a guy. <laughs> oh, of course not, honey. So, um, what are you guys doing tonight? We're going dancing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, would you like to come with us, honey? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Intrude on your Valentine's Day? I mean, you know, you guys are married, so mm -hmm. you should be alone. Well, because you're married. Well, have fun. Thank you. Guys. Okay. okay. You will. Morning, sunshine. Mm. 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 Is something wrong? Uh -uh. No. Okay. Come on. Okay, so it's Valentine's Day, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, I know we always go to the Four Seasons, okay? Okay. But I just had this idea. I want to cook. <laughs> you want to cook, I Alan? Wanna you never cook. cook. I want to <laughs> cook. You see, last night I, I, I couldn't get to sleep, and I wound up watching that uh, Food Channel thing. Yeah. And I, I just, I really, really want to cook for you. Because they had this interesting potato gratin thing served in a heart-shaped pastry. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I want to cook that for you. Okay. All right? What? No, that's Great. good. Yeah. finished sketches at the guest house last night. I was exhausted, okay? We were up half the night, and I, I just crashed on her couch. Fine. I just went to the concert with him, and he dropped me off in the lobby, and then he went home. Fine. I think I'm sorry. It was a stupid idea. Whatever. Whatever. No, Leo, come on. Don't just walk away from me. God, I can't discuss anything with you. You just shut me down. What? What am I supposed to say? Look, if you don't want me to see Everett anymore, if you're uncomfortable with it, I don't have to see him, you know? No, no. Don't make any huge sacrifices for me. Leo, it's not a huge sacrifice, okay? Don't twist what I say. I didn't say that. Look, I had to go to the concert with someone, right? And naturally, that had to be your ex fiance Yeah, and you said that you were fine with it. Well, guess what? I lied, okay? I'm not. I'm not fine with it. And this really looks like something you can't get over. Oh, that, that's not true. You know what? See Everett or see me. Make a choice. Leo, don't make it sound like I'm someone who can't make a choice, okay? I did choose. I chose you. Yeah, but, but, what are you doing, huh? Why are you, like, you know, going up for jobs with him in the rain? Or, or, or going to concerts with him? Or getting rides in his car? This I mean... is absurd. You're the one who spent the night at Julia's. Oh, come on. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm such a prude. I mean, why don't you just spend every night at Julia's? Why don't you just move in with Julia? I don't believe this. This is really ironic, because if you had just remembered that the concert was last night, none of this would have ever happened. I had to work, okay? I had to work. Yeah, work. Whatever it is that you do over what, there. What does that mean? Well, what does that mean? I found the drawing that you did of her. What drawing? This one. This is really nice. It's really good to know that you're working so hard. Is I spend the whole day there doing technical drawings, you know, floor plans, blueprints. I, I have to do something like this to keep myself sane, okay? It doesn't mean anything. I could have drawn anyone. So how come you never drew me? 